Hey guys, I just got in from my commute. You know, uh, the commute's getting longer every day. That's bad for me, but overall it's a sign that more people are going back to work. The workplace uh, and the controls that have been put in place during the pandemic are being uh, less restrictive. And I know some of you are already like, what are you talking about? We've been open for a month or so, uh, but California is what it is and I make my money here. So what can I say? I'm happy I can pay more taxes and fees than anybody else in the United States, but um, I guess that's what makes me happy. Anyway, wanted to catch up with you a little bit and tell you about what's been going on with me. There was a moment over this past weekend where I was looking at one of my guitars being played at a live venue, and I was also looking at one of them being played live streamed over the internet from Mississippi um, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, first, I want to tell you that um, I don't play guitar myself. If you've ever heard me play, you're, you're kind of like, dude, really? Stop and, uh, and save yourself from embarrassment and save our ears. Uh, but I do have good access to people, and some of those people can basically pick up a rock. One of those uh, people is Frank, my friend Frank, um, and his drummer Richie uh, accompanies him. And they play these uh, venues where the restaurants, uh, you get good access to an artist and, and good live music. And if you're into blues like me, there's nothing like seeing it played live. And I very much appreciate being able to take a guitar that I have fixed up that's not really that great of a guitar either before or after I get done with it and hand it off to somebody like Frank. So I've done that with this California junk pile a couple times uh, and had Frank play it uh, and recorded some songs there and you'll see as we end this video we got the bugs worked out of which there weren't that many. It's just inherently junk. That's why it's called Palmero Junk Pile Guitars. Um, but I so appreciate people playing live music, small venues, and seeing people coming out and being able to enjoy a meal in a restaurant with their significant other or their family and something. You got good musicians playing in the background. So um, the good news outside of my long commute is that even locally in California, you're starting to see people playing live music. Don't forget about the importance of live music. It's where people begin their careers and it's a good place for you to see people who have established careers who are great musicians, but live music is really the motivator behind at least the kind of music I like to listen to. So let's end this out by watching Frank play this, his drummer Richie in the background, and uh, don't forget to support live music. I'll see you soon. Look at this. This is awesome. Well, except for that. Don't worry about that. I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, one last thing. You're gonna give me a like. You're really gonna give Frank and Richie a like, but this is going on the wall now, and uh, we're gonna be doing some other things. And so, you know what that means. That means that somebody's gonna buy this, and if you got the money, <laughs> It might be you. Don't let other people own your guitar. Yeah, wait a minute. Let me make this official. I'm talking to you, son. All right, this time, now for real, let's go see Frank play the California Jump Pile. <laughs> When every rainbow was whistling, I would decide. 
the junkie. All right. <laughs> 